So now in this video, we're going to be making a comparator circuit from an op amp, a pretty basic circuit, but this time we're going to use a split power supply. So you can see I got positive 5 volts, negative 5 volts. The last couple of videos I did, we took uh, 10 volts in this case and we split it. We got a virtual ground and that's what we're going to use in this video, but in uh, any case, since our ground is the halfway point now in relationship to ground we'll have 5 volts positive and 5 volts negative. So now we're going to use the LM358 we'll look at that closer. First I want to show that we have a uh, 10 volt power supply I just turned the output on right now and we got the uh, multimeter just to show that where our load is going to end up will be the virtual ground and so I have the uh, probes here and we can also measure the uh, 10 volts of the supply that jumper goes to the negative rail this one directly to the positive rail and there you can see uh, just a spec less than 10 volts right there but if I put the uh, black probe right there so we're looking at the voltage in relationship to the black probe we declare that that's ground now you can see at the uh, positive rail, we have just a spec less than uh, 5 volts positive, and here we got a negative 5 volts right there. So I already went over this circuit a couple of videos ago. We can also make a virtual ground with uh, this component here, uh, but uh, in any case, this has two op amps, so we just made a virtual ground with an op amp. So now, back to the uh, circuit. We have the uh, op amp here, so this represents the op amp that we're not using. Ground represents the op amp within the same integrated circuit that uh, we just looked at. So that circuitry all is indicated by that uh, ground symbol. So now, we're going to uh, set our uh, reference voltage. And again, that's gonna be ground. It could be a different voltage. Uh, but then the uh, comparator will be high and low at different times. This is an op amp wired as a comparator. So again, we're going to do the same thing. You can see a couple 100 kilo ohm resistors there. Again, as that voltage does not matter. As long as they're equal voltage, you'll get half of the uh, supply voltage to the pin. The pin doesn't let any current in or out. So it just has to be a couple resistors that will hold the voltage pretty well. So that's to the positive rail. That one's to the negative rail. We have, I'm off a spot there, so actually we did not have our halfway point. There we go. Not really wanting to cooperate today. So there we go. So that's going to the inverting input. Now inverting input already has the uh, trim pot right there. So that's our adjustable uh, voltage. And so the output's going to be more like what we set with the trim pot. Now to uh, see what the output is doing, we're going to make a polarity indicator. Since this is a split supply, the output here does a better job of syncing and sourcing current, and so we can have the LEDs with the same uh, resistor. Works uh, a lot easier So than when you're just working with single supply. The red LED I want to light up when the output is high, for whatever reason. So our grounds here, our output is uh, down lower, so I'm going to put the longer lead towards the output. I'm going to put the shorter lead, the cathode, to that jumper that goes to ground. The green LED, I want to light up when the output is low. So there you can see cathode there. And uh, so the shorter lead, the cathode, is going to head towards the output there. The longer lead, the anode, we're going to connect to our virtual ground, the orange jumper up there and we're going to add a protective resistor. Since we're only dealing with either 5 volts more positive or 5 volts more negative, I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor. So even though there's 10 volts total, the resistor only has to deal with a maximum of 5 volts, but we still have the LED voltage drop, and also the output does not go all the way to the positive rail. And uh, this one probably does go all the way to the negative rail though. So now we'll zoom in on uh, the finished circuit right there. You can see that the arrow is a little more towards positive and we can go all the way to the uh, positive rail. Again, the input doesn't let current in or out and so these uh, trim pots work really good. I go below that halfway point since we set the voltage at the halfway point. 
and the uh, green LED lights up. So we know the output is low right now because of the direction we wired the LEDs. And uh, so there's more we could do to improve this. The red LED doesn't get near as bright as the green. In person, the green looks a whole lot brighter than the red LED. It's not as distinct on a video here. But uh, there's, there's some more we could do to modify this a little bit. I'll probably do that in uh, future videos. But otherwise, we mostly just slap together uh, circuitry that we did before. But this difference is that now we have a, a split supply, thanks to this op amp that we split it with or a dual supply if you want to call it that. But in any case, this is my quick video series. So I'm going to end on that note. You can do more research or watch my older videos where I covered them in more detail or whatnot. But uh, this is the quick video series. So check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell, donate to Patreon if you can. I will see you in the next video.